Well, new at 6.30 tonight, it is getting more expensive to run a business right here in Southern Nevada. Small business owners here in the Valley are dealing with rent increases, get this, up to 60%. That is a lot. Yeah. Local real estate experts say this is just the start. Kelsey McFarland has more from Centennial Hills. The streets of New York has been in this business complex off Durango and farm for 15 years. Their path for a future in this same complex is made more difficult by a rent increase of 30%. Hi Riley. Stacy McBride saying hello to her loyal customers, Diana, Stephen and Riley, who visit streets of New York as often as they can. Riley's probably going to work here one day, right Riley? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's that loyal customer base that kept the restaurant open during the pandemic. It's a special place. And it's the same reason Stacy is fighting to stay in this location. If we had to move somewhere, it would be devastating to us because this community has become our family. Their lease is up for renewal, facing a 30% increase in rent. You know, so I, I don't know where I'm going to eat it or how I'm going to eat it, but it has to be, it's on my shoulders. Across the street, the owner of Shall We Play, the Games and More store, is nervous he could see a rent increase from the same landlord. I mean, if they did a 30% increase for us, we would have to move. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Chris Clifford owns the village of Centennial Springs business complex. He's the landlord and says he purchased the building during the recession, and it came with a lot of necessary hidden fixes. We've, we've been sitting there for basically the last eight years fixing everything. He says his costs are rising as well. Every time you turn around, insurance is going up, water is going up, electricity is going up, taxes are going up. Commercial real estate agent Mervit Berry says this is just the start. And I have seen a huge demand for retail space from both new businesses and businesses that are looking to expand. She says it's a supply and demand issue. New developments with higher rent will cause an increase in the rent of neighboring businesses. And Barry says more hikes could be on the way because Las Vegas is an attractive place to do business with tax advantages and pro sports. It's the A's, the Golden Knights, the Raiders. We have you know talks of NBA, the Brightline Station, the F1 races. All of those have to do with what's driving demand to Las Vegas. Her best advice to business owners is to consult with an expert a year before your retail lease is up so you know what kind of price to expect. Reporting in Centennial Hills, I'm Kelsey McFarland.